Hey guys, Miss Greenleaf here. Just checking in and wanted to give you a quick video on how you might be able to tune your instruments using the fine tuners um, to help you get your instrument at least close in tune so when that you're playing at home it sounds okay. Um, all our instruments have fine tuners except for the basses, so basses, I'll be back with another video to help you out um, tuning your instrument too. All right, so down here on our instrument, we have these cool little twisty knobs. They're called our fine tuners. And what they do is they like very gently tighten or loosen the string to give us um, a variety of pitches. So this is what we're gonna use for today, all four fine tuners. All right, so the first thing you need um, to tune your instrument is your instrument. And the second thing you need is a tuner. Um, there's like a variety of tuners you can use. There's lots of apps on your phone or an iPad that you can get. Um, I like this one, it's called Tonal Energy and it smiles at you when you're in tune. Um, but there's also a free tuner on the Smart Music application, which I'm gonna show you uh, right now. So if I go to Smart Music, I'm already signed in um, as a student and I've, I've opened up a piece. It doesn't matter what piece it is. Um, I chose Burst for today, but really doesn't matter. Basically what we're looking for up here um, is this weird little fork thing that says tuner. When I click on it, it actually automatically gives me a tuner, which is pretty cool. All right, so the basic idea is I'm trying to get my strings to show the correct letter over here where it says concert pitch, and I'm trying to get this arrow right here to be right in the middle. If this arrow is over towards the left, it means our strings are speaking too low, they're flat, and we need to raise the pitch to get them correct. If the arrow's over here, the opposite is true, the strings are too high, so we need to lower the sound of the, of the pitch in order to get it correct. It's kind of like a game, basically, trying to get the arrow to just land right in the middle. The first step, though, is always making sure that the correct letter of your string is coming up right in the middle here. We want to make sure that if you're plucking the A string, it says A. Okay, we'll go over that in a second. So basically, um, these fine tuners here, if I turn them clockwise, right, I'm going to raise the pitch. So if my arrow is over here, I'm going to turn the, the fine tuner clockwise and it will bring it up. If my arrow is over here, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise and it will bring the pitch down. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you. For me, I find it easiest to pluck the string while turning um, to help me make sure that I don't go too far or too little. Okay, so I'm going to twist my instrument slightly towards me, just like I do when we are tuning in class. And I'm going to pluck the A string. And you might notice my arrow here is to the left, so my A is flat. So I'm going to take my fine tuner, I'm going to turn it clockwise, about like a quarter of a turn. Don't turn too much too soon, just small turns while I'm plucking. and then I made it to the green. It's possible to go too far, you just go the other way if you've gone too sharp and you'll make it back to the green. It is possible that your instrument could actually be speaking so uh, low um, that it could be playing the wrong pitch. So if I, you look, I've actually untuned my D string. If I pluck it, you might notice over here, um, it says D flat. So D flat is a lower sounding note than D natural. So what I need to do is give it a big turn to make it first go up all the way to one note higher to D and then make sure it's in tune. So I'm gonna try that by twisting a good amount with my fine tuner. So here's D, speaking as D flat. So I'm gonna keep twisting. I'm going clockwise now to bring the pitch up. Luckily, I finally made it to D. I'm still flat, but I made it. I'm going to keep going. Nope, too far. And now I'm in the green area, and that's pretty good. Okay, so that's what we're looking for for all three. You can do the same if your note is too high. You can always bring it back by going counterclockwise on the fine tuners. Okay, this might not work perfectly for everybody, but it will at least give it a, a chance to be close in tune. Um, if it's if you have floppy strings or anything like that, um, the fine tuners aren't going to work for you. And I'll give you a second video um, that uses more of the peg tuning. But let's try and stick to this as much as we can for today, for maybe this week. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns, you can always let me know. You can reach out for your teens, or you can just send me an email, or you can send me a note on our on our class website. No matter what, I'll get back to you as soon as I can to help you out. 
All right. Um, and then once you're all set with the tuning, um, you can start doing some of the assignments I posted on Smart Music and on Teams, and then uh, you'll be good to go. Okay. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you soon.